the plus sign. There's a couple different variations on this one, probably even more than that, but two primary ones that I see. One is with the elbow and one is with the armpit, okay? Which one you decide to do decides, uh, it depends on the look you're going for and also on flexibility, okay? For a lot of people getting into the armpit takes a little bit more. For me personally, I find the elbow is easier. I can just kind of hang out in it once my elbow's hooked. I can just hang versus my armpit hold. I have to really keep squeezing. I gotta work harder. Okay, so to me personally, I prefer the elbow, but said whichever you prefer to work on based on the look you're going for and flexibility if that's a limiting factor for you. Okay, so we're gonna go over just a couple different ways to get into it. You can step up into it, you can drop down into it. Okay, once again, depending on which way you prefer. So for the step up one to start, um, a lot of people have a hard time with the step up version because they find that as soon as they start to step, their foot slides. Generally speaking, the reason for that is that your hands and your feet are too far apart, okay? So I have to feel that push and pull, much like we would in arm grips, between my foot and my hands. So if I put my hands about face level-ish a little above, my foot's gonna come up somewhere in between, okay? And that exact distance, you can't say, or I can't say, it's like exactly two feet. I know roughly what my distance is, but it's gonna be different for everyone depending on length of your arms, length of your legs, length of your torso, so many variables, okay? So you're gonna have to play around with that. Positioning of your foot. It's very similar to how you would for a um, cupid, okay? I want the pole to be going diagonal. So I wanna put the whole arch of my foot on the pole, okay? Sometimes in the beginning, people will wanna step with the ball of their foot. I wouldn't recommend that. Yes, you can do that, but you're gonna feel much more solid if you put it right into the arch and then the arch of your foot is gonna pivot, okay? So initially when I step, the arch of my foot is on, my toes are pointing up. Okay, so initially just get a feel of that step up and how you can push, okay? So initially my arms are a little bit bent. How bent your arms are, once again, depends on your length of arm to leg ratio, okay? So just feel this, making sure that you're having this. My leg is pushing away, my arm is pulling in, and that's what makes it so that I'm able to lift off. So if that part feels good, then we're gonna take it to the rotation, okay? So this is another spot where people get stuck. Biggest thing on the rotation I find for a lot of people is they try to bring their leg up but they're not pulling in closer to the pole and they're not dropping their head, which is why you're gonna feel like that foot wants to slide off, okay? So once I get that foot on, actually lock my pole in place so it's not spinning. Once I get that foot in place and I start to lift, I'm gonna pull in, drop my head down, okay? So when I drop my head down, you can see my shoulder starts to come in much closer to the pole. If I don't pull in and bring my head in closer, Yes, you can get a cool shape on your butt if your plans are to hook, your legs and your butt are gonna be way out here, okay? So think of pulling in, dropping your head down, ear to your arm, to your shoulder. You can find that shape and hang out there or then going to hook. And then here's the other part is initially, when I stepped on the pole, my toes were pointing up. When I pivot, they're gonna point down, okay? So you're just pivoting on the ball of that foot. Another reason why you wanna be on the, or I'm sorry, the, the arch of the foot, not the ball. Another reason why you wanna be on the arch and not the ball is that basically my arch kinda of cups the pole and it starts toes up and then it keeps me in place while I pivot to toes down, okay? So starting with that step, drop the head down, knee comes up nice and high, okay? My head's close. Now I can pull in even more as I shoot up to hook that knee. Okay, so just getting into that knee hook, whether you're going to a cupid or whether you're going into the plus side. Okay, so that's just a little quickie on how to get into the step up part. So now from here, we're gonna take it to the plus side. You're probably gonna wanna hook your knee initially. Okay, eventually you can go right to hooking the ankle, depending on how you feel that, but for a lot of people in the beginning, they wanna hook their knee, get the arm in position, whatever position you're gonna do, and then sink back out to the heel. Okay, but it's up to you. If you wanna go with just right into the heel, if you wanna hook the knee, get your arm in position. Once again, personal preference, okay? So let's talk about where the arm is going. I'm gonna do my step. If I'm bringing it to my heel, I wanna shoot up nice and high. Bring it in to my armpit, whether I'm gonna hold on my armpit or not. If I'm just holding armpit, I have to hold this position here. And like I said, it's a lot of work to squeeze, which is why I prefer this, okay? I'm going to go to the elbow, and then I can hang out, okay? So positioning on the elbow one, I still pull it into my armpit or as close as you can get it to your armpit, depending on flexibility. I pull into my armpit and then I wanna rotate my arm, okay? So it's not just to in and I'm holding. 
pull into the armpit. And then as I sink back out to my elbow, I'm going to rotate my pinky up. And in doing that, it kind of locks my elbow in. Okay. And then the more you rotate your chest to face the ceiling, the more you're locked into it. So which direction your chest faces on this? Um, once again, kind of depends on the shape that you're going for. Some people like to be more vertical facing the pole. Personally, I like the face up one because there's a lot of transitions I like to do from there. But if you want to stay more to the pole, I find also if you rotate your chest up, it locks this elbow in place that much more to be able to hold. Okay. So in that initial step up, like I went to my ankle, like I said, if you're still getting used to this, you can step into a Cupid hook, bring your elbow in, get this hooked, and then keep this hand on, slide back out to my ankle and hold there. Okay. The top foot, it's my ankle on the pole. Keep in mind that ankle, it's not just resting on the pole, it's actually actively pushing into the pole, okay? So my bottom foot is pushing into the pole, my top foot is also pushing into the pole, and my arm is pulling away. Because remember, pretty much everything in pole has equalizing forces, a push and pull, which is what keeps us magically levitating, okay? So you can either A, step right up, put your heel, so that little divot on the back of your heel on the pole, or go to a cupid, get your arm in position, and then lower back out, okay? So this is if we step up into it. Dropping down, okay? So if the step up isn't your thing, um, or it just doesn't work in your choreo, whatever it is, you can also drop down from a cupid, okay? So I'm gonna invert into a cupid. If you're not inverting yet, and you're comfortable dropping into a cupid from another variation, definitely feel free to do that, okay? So however you wanna get into your cupid. So I'm gonna take it up, hook, Bring that bottom foot around so I get that arch of the foot on the pole. Pull it into my armpit nice and tight. Switch this hand under. Slide out to my ankle as I rotate to my elbow. Push that ankle in. And there's your plus side. Okay. And then all kinds of fun transitions you can do out of this one. Okay. So... Plus sign, either stepping up or dropping down, armpit or elbow, which one you want. Bottom foot is on the arch of the foot, top foot is on the back of the heel, okay?